Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to video 11 in my series of building an FPV racing drone for the absolute beginner. Uh, we are going to continue to make improvements on this little 280. All right, so the first thing that we're going to upgrade is this old worn out power distribution board, which doesn't even differentiate between 12 volts and 5 volts, let alone do anything else. Uh, and then if you've been watching the series, you know that we also needed a UBEC uh, to go with that to send power to the power distribution board to cut it from 12 volts down to 5 volts because of the type of ESCs that we have. Our ESCs don't have BECs in them. So we can step up to this. As you can see, is the next generation. It differentiates between 5 volts and 12 volts for the ESCs. Or we could skip this guy altogether and go to this guy. And as you can see, this thing is awesome. The big pads are for the ESCs. It has individual pads for 12 volts and 5 volts respectively. So here we've got another one for 12 volts. We can put our VBAT in there and send flight information back to the uh, flight controller. Uh, here's 5 volts for the flight controller. And as you can see, we've got pre-designated spots over here for the video transmitter and the camera. All right, so with our power distribution board in place, it's time to get soldering. We're going to go ahead and pretend all the pads that we're going to use. And then we got our pads ready for the ESCs over here. Now I'm getting ready to hook up all the ESCs to this thing. Double and triple check your polarities. To make sure 5 volts is going to 5 volts and 12 volts is going to 12 volts. All right, so with our upgraded power distribution board in place, uh, this is going to allow us to open up some new avenues. Uh, we've got a nice, easy connection for our VBAT, which will go into the flight controller to provide voltage information. Uh, we've got um, the potential. We've got the potential to hook up this LED light. And with this row right here, we're going to finally be able to get an FPV camera and transmitter on this thing. And that is what we're going to do next. All right, so to my pleasant surprise, digging through the bag of the camera and the transmitter, I found this connector right here, which will go to the camera and the transmitter. And uh, it's got 12 volts here. Well, I've already got 12 volts coming out. So all I need to do is just connect that to that this to this and the three to the camera and I'm good to go camera power I don't even have to mess with any of these guys right here I've got an additional five volt source that I can uh, add these guys which are gonna go to an LED light on the bottom all right, so incidentally, if your uh, camera and transmitter didn't come with the nifty little connector like mine did, the the connections really aren't that difficult. Here's the video transmitter right here. As you can see, it's three connections uh, going to the small pads towards the bottom right here. And also the camera itself has three connections that will just be soldered on to there and you will be good to go. All right, so I'm going to test it, make sure everything works right, adding power via battery. And here's the camera side and the receiver side, or the transmitter side, I guess. Um, never ever plug your um, transmitter in without an antenna. You don't want to do that. And then if we come over here, all right. And when we look through the hole, you can see my uh, soldering station right there. That's what that is right there. And that's what the camera's pointing at. All right, so between the connector that was provided and this mount, I'm really impressed with this little 20 some odd dollar kit. I mean, it was super, super easy to install. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the mount on the front. It's just two screws from the bottom. And you can uh, swivel the camera and check it out. It tilts. All right, now I'm just gonna tuck all the wires through the bottom and mount the transmitter. Okay, so we're back together now, and as you may or may not be able to tell, we have a fully functional FPV racing quadcopter here, complete with the camera, complete with the camera with the tilt function up front, and we've got our got our camera transmitter right there, and our radio transmitter right next to it. We've got a alarm right there, which will beep uh, upon the switch. So if we lose it, we can throw a switch and have it beep. It will also beep once it gets down below a certain voltage. 
which is tracked by this guy right here, which is the VBAT. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and plug it back into Betaflight, and I'm going to run through my entire checklist, make sure we're flight ready, and then there's nothing else to do besides take it out and fly it. And uh, if you feel like I went fast, uh, please keep in mind that this is video 11 in the series. I went fast this time because there are 10 previous videos where I went in nauseating detail about how to hook all this stuff up. So I didn't feel it relevant to do that again. If you're interested in viewing any or all of those videos, please look at the description below. There's a link to the playlist. And from the link to the playlist, you can pick and choose whichever video you want to watch or watch them in their entirety. So uh, we've come a long, long way on this little racing drone that started life as a... We started with PPM. We had no lost model arm. We had no VBAT. We had no camera. We had none of that stuff. And uh, all we wanted to do at that point was just make sure that it flew. Uh, but it flies really good now. It is nice and stable. Stable as a rock. So after we do our pre-flight checklist, uh, we are going to grab the goggles and go out to the park and see how this thing flies.